Hey everybody, welcome back to GWN. I am Nocter, your host. So it's been a really great week for Clash of Clans this week. Darian held a big AMA or Ask Me Anything over on Reddit a few days back. And we got a little bit of news on the December update. The second season of Clan War Games just wrapped up and Clan Games has just started. And there are some really amazing bonus pack offers in the shop for Black Friday. Uh, in other news, I now have access to pre-release content. So that means when a release is going to be coming out, I will be able to give you guys some sneak previews, which is really cool, especially when you know we got Builder Hall 9 coming up here in the next oh, four months or so, I'm hoping. So uh, first or second quarter is what they've said at Supercell. So I'm really, uh, really stoked about that. Let's talk a little bit about this upcoming update, the big holiday update. We get one every year at the uh, the end of the year. It's usually the like the third week of December or something like that, second week of December, depending upon how the holiday falls. And from what we can kind of read between the lines, it sounds like this is going to be a pretty cool update. Uh, first and foremost, we got this message from Supercell, this announcement, that magic items would no longer stack on the in-game events. You know, the ones where you... Uh, you run X number of attacks with a certain kind of troop, and they give you, say, three power potions or whatever. Kind of a bummer there. I'm not, uh, I, I don't stack very often, but when I do, it's kind of a nice feature, so I'm going to miss that one. But within there, we were also told there would be some new content. And during the AMA with Darian, he asked, how do you feel about a new spell? Then he mentioned new magic items and maybe even a new troop, and he finally, like, he wrapped up with, Ground attacking and siege machines will get some new love. Now that's some interesting stuff. I like to read between the lines. And based on that, I think this is some pretty huge news. I think we're going to see some really cool stuff. Now there's lots and lots of rumors flying around the community this last week or two. And you know everybody's asking, could this be new content just for the holiday season? Or is it going to be something that's a permanent addition? I don't know, but it's really cool. And... I'm saving up my books, hammers, and uh, resources, getting ready for it. Uh, that's a good uh, segue into this whole Black Friday thing, too. Black Friday deals, 2 million Dark Elixir, 15 books of Heroes, 5 books of everything, and 3 runes of Elixir. Uh, then, of course, they kind of step down from there. That's the top offer, and that's a, a 6x value, which sounds about right. If you can give up your Starbucks for a week, I'm telling you guys, that that is a really great deal. Talking more about resources, clan games just started up again. And there's not quite as many bonus challenges this time as usual, but challenges are centered around crushing enemy defenses. It's a 50,000 point six tier run with books in all three of the top tiers. And what's really cool about that, you've got a book of building on tier four, a book of fighting on tier five, and then tier six has a book of heroes. They're all in separate tiers, so you don't have to choose one. You can literally get all three of them to add into your, uh, into your set. Second season of Clan War Leagues just wrapped up. My clans did pretty good. Uh, both Oz Builders and Divergent Void managed to hold on to their places in uh, Crystal 1 and Masters 2, respectively. Army of One bumped up one more level for the second time into uh, Gold 2. There's been a lot of controversy around these CWLs. A lot of people who don't really understand how it works or how it was seeded and, and how matches are built now. And I'm going to do a separate episode on that a little bit later. But guys, just the long made short, be patient with it. I mean, really, just give it some time. Things are going to work out. Hopefully they've already started to get a little bit better if you were, you know, if you were originally seated a little bit high. But it's a really good time and it's a great chance to get some absolutely awesome rewards. I think given another eh, maybe two or three seasons, everybody's really going to be going to be happy with what, what we have here with this. Uh, talking about what's coming uh, down the line, there hasn't been a whole lot going on with our main topic here, the builder base. So I'm, I'm shifting gears here. We're going to spend uh, some more time on the home village and with a couple of other games. I've been busy in the background upgrading my games, reacquainting myself with the home village side. I've got a couple of fully maxed Town Hall 7s and 8s, uh, some near max Town Hall 9s with maxed offense all around. I've maxed several attacks on Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 12 as well. So we, we've got a lot of home village content that's going to be coming down the pike until we you know, start getting more of the Builder Hall stuff uh, here in the, the March, April, May time frame next year. Probably you know, beginning of second quarter or sometime in second quarter. Also, we've got Boom Beach. I've maxed my offense and my defense there, working on support buildings now. So I'll start doing a, the, the weekly series on that probably on Fridays when we get the uh, 
uh, the whole uh, uh, challenge thing that we get on Friday. And uh, lastly, War Robots. That has become my new addiction. And i, I got to tell you guys, I am just... I am a total War Robots junkie. It's awful how addicted I've become to this game. Um, I've got one of each of the better robots now. I haven't got any of the suppression bots yet. I'm still working on that. But I've got uh, things like, for example, a Falcon. Uh, I just picked up a Spectre. I've got Strider. I've got a variety of weapons, including both the rooting weapons as well as some of the corrosion weapons. And um, I've been playing around with different build-outs in that. So now that I've got a lot of this stuff upgraded to level 6, and I'll be working on level 7, I'll be able to start providing some more useful content, I guess is the right way to describe it. So I'm really looking, looking forward to putting some of that up. And don't forget, too, we've got Supercell's newest game, Brawlers, that's going to be coming out here in the next uh, several weeks. I went ahead and did the pre-register for that, and I'm looking forward to getting into that, too. So short video for today. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick update. We'll be doing a lot more starting next week now that we've got a bunch of these games kind of up to snuff. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. you got comments or questions, drop them down below. Drop me an email. And on that note, I am Casper. I'm out of here. Y'all take care and keep on clashing. Bye-bye.